we have not actually done a deep dive in a while and I felt like this was the perfect time to talk about something that has been on my mind to share with you all Hey y'all, hey, welcome and welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany. I'm a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, mental health content by way of deep dives. So one of the things that I wanna start doing is sharing like very quick bites of mental health tips. The first tip that I want to go through is related to work. Very brief background, last summer I got a promotion. I went from working with clients directly to becoming a supervisor of a team of 20, which is a lot because I am in that middle management uh, role where I'm still doing like some of the grunt work, but also managing and you know listening to people higher up. So with that comes a lot of stress and I didn't necessarily know how to manage it. And because in the beginning of getting that promotion, it was a lot of work, like a lot of projects. Um, I felt myself becoming consumed by the work. And one of the ways that I became consumed by the work was checking my email around the clock. And it wasn't me necessarily pulling up my laptop, but it was me getting on my phone and checking my email. I would open up my email almost like I was opening up social media because in my mind, I felt like I was always missing something and that I constantly needed to check those things off of my to-do list because I knew that there were emails coming in somewhat around the clock. And um, after things started to slow down and I had, you know, kind of gained my footing when it came to my new role, I realized I am not as important as I think I am. So that is a major takeaway point that I want you to consider when it comes to working your mental health is that you are not as important as you think you are, um, which means that no one needs access to you around the clock. You are not a 911 operator and even they have shift work. With that, there is no need for me to respond to emails outside of my standard work hours. You might need to remove the Outlook app off of your personal phone. I never had the app on my phone. I always went through the internet browser. So I think that made it a bit easier for me to stop checking my emails as often, but I find that for people who have that app on their personal phone, they're constantly responding to emails, more than likely because they always see that notification. It would be helpful if you are trying to help other people with their mental health to not send emails outside of work hours. You can easily delay the delivery of your email in Outlook so that you can help other people manage their anxieties around work. Also, when you are out of office and you put up your out of office automatic reply, you are out of office. I don't understand why people, when they put up that out of office email, they say, I am unable to respond to your emails right now due to being out. No, you're not unable. You're just not going to reply. So don't make it seem like you are unable to do certain things when it's simply a boundary that you need to draw for yourself. Don't try to like put it off on, you know, not having internet accessibility at the time. You got internet because you posting your vacay pics on Instagram. No, it's a matter of you needing to set a boundary with yourself so that others know what boundary they cannot cross with you. So when you have your out of office reply, you simply say, Day, I will be out of the office from this date to this day. I will respond to your emails upon my return on this date. Why are we pacifying people by saying that I'm unable to respond? I will have limited internet accessibility. That's too much. Draw your boundary, protect your peace, protect your mental health. That is all that I have for you all in this video. I hope those email work tips for your mental health prove to be successful for you. If you have any comments, drop them down below. If you like this style of video with these quick tips, also let me know. And in the meantime, make sure that you check out the next video.